Mikel Arteta decides not to pursue attacking target. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta is looking for key squad additions as the club prepares to challenge Manchester City for the league title again this season. The Gunners have finished second in the previous two seasons, but Arteta is hoping to change that this season. Arsenal has strengthened its squad with the permanent signing of goalkeeper David Rea and the addition of defender Ricardo Calafiori. The North Londoners have been linked with a move for a striker as well and it is highly expected that they would sign one to bolster their attacking options. Victor Asimhen, a Napoli striker, has been consistently linked with the Arsenal. However, according to the latest update provided by journalist Ciro Troyes on Radio Capri, as relayed by Calcio Napoli, Arsenal have withdrawn from the race to sign Asimhen. The Premier League giants have been linked with a move for Asimhen, who is looking to leave Napoli this summer for a new challenge. However, the Gunners' plans have changed, so he will not be moving to the Emirates Stadium. Troyes has provided an update on Arsenal's interest in the Nigerian attacker, who is expected to leave the Italian club this summer. He reappears every now and then, but the situation remains the same. PSG does not spend more than 70 million euros and has yet to sell Colo Muani. While Chelsea and Arsenal have withdrawn, this is a concerning update for the striker who is desperate to leave the Serie A club. All doors are closing for him, and the transfer window has only three weeks left to close. Chelsea have managed to sign Samu Omarodian from Atletico Madrid while the Gunners have still not signed anyone yet, they are moving in another direction. Arsenal are still expected to sign a new attacker. It is widely believed that a prolific attacker would make Arsenal the Premier League winners and a Simhen fits the bill. The Nigerian is ruthless in front of goal, scoring with both feet and head. It remains to be seen who the Gunners will target next, as Arteta is determined to strengthen his squad. Paul Scholes urges Arsenal to sign Premier League stars before the transfer deadline. According to Paul Scholes, Arsenal needs to sign Ivan Toney before the summer transfer window closes in order to win the Premier League. Arsenal aims to win the English title for the first time since 2004 after finishing second in the previous two seasons. Arsenal signed Ricardo Calafiori from Italy and made David Reyes loan permanent to support Mikel Arteta's progress. The Gunners are reportedly close to signing Spain midfielder Mikel Marino and have been linked with several top strikers. One of them is Brentford talisman Tony, who Scholes believes would thrive in North London and score 25 goals in this Arsenal team. Scholes believes Tony could be the missing link for Arsenal manager Arteta, despite dwindling interest since his return from an eight-month betting ban. Brentford previously valued Tony at around £75 million, but have recently reduced their asking price due to a lack of interested parties. Tony was part of the England squad that reached the Euro 2024 final earlier this summer, but did not play much in Germany. He did provide a crucial assist in a knockout game and score in a penalty shootout against Switzerland. Despite coming so close to ending Arsenal's Premier League title drought, Scholes believes the club iced missing, the mentality required to win. The former Manchester United and England midfielder believes that was on display near the end of last season when Arsenal drew with Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium and appeared, delighted, with the outcome. Manchester City are still clearly the best team, but Arsenal are not far behind. Scholes added, I believe what they lack is a certain level of mentality. Sometimes you have to go to your title opponents and win. I remember watching the game when Arsenal went to Man City and City was struggling a bit. Arsenal went there and played for a draw and they were delighted with the draw. If they won there they would have won the league. That would have killed Man City and destroyed them. There are three reasons why Aston Villa striker Ollie Watkins is a perfect potential signing for Arsenal in the summer transfer window. Former Arsenal star Emmanuel Petty has explained the three reasons why he wants his old club to sign the England international. Watkins was one of the best players in the Premier League last season, conjuring up 19 goals and 13 assists across 37 top-flight games for Unai Emery's side. But why does Petty believe Watkins would fit like a glove into the current Arsenal squad? 
Emmanuel Petit believes there are three reasons why Watkins is an excellent fit for Arsenal. The first is Watkins' physicality, which allows him to fight off defenders, sometimes two at once, while successfully holding the ball. The second reason is his ability to run in behind defenders, as demonstrated by his dramatic late goal for England against the Netherlands in Euro 2024. The third and final reason is his impressive one on one combinations, as seen at Villa. According to Petty, Arsenal seeks a striker with strong technical skills and the ability to keep the ball up front, which aligns with Arteta's philosophy. They need a striker who can play with his teammates in a small space and who can feel the same movement of his teammates in terms of combinations and off-ball movement. Signing a striker should be Arsenal's top priority during the transfer window. They need someone that is good in the air and can also be physically imposing. It is good to have different options, and you know how Arsenal will attack, which can be too predictable. We've seen them struggle to break down teams that play with a lot of men behind the ball. There are a few players who take all these boxes on the market. I'm a huge fan of Ollie Watkins. I love him. He's strong physically. He has the pace to run in behind defenders. He's able to fight with two defenders all the time and can hold up the ball. I think he would be perfect for the football that Arsenal play. He has the ability to play one-on-one -on -one combinations and I think he would fit like a glove into an Arsenal team and system.